Okay, here we have an example, arc cosine of cosine of this fraction. Okay, so let me uh, write it like you're used to. Arc cosine, that's another way of saying cosine inverse, of cosine of 4 pi over 3. Okay, so how do we go about these? Well, if you refer to the notes, it'll tell you that step one is you've got to determine if this thing on the inside is an angle or an answer. How we know is where it sits, not how it looks. So for sine, or let's just, we'll do cosine. For cosine, normal cosine, we plug in an angle, get out an answer. For cosine inverse, we plug in an answer, get out an angle, right? We reverse that. So this is inside of a normal cosine. So it's got to be an angle. So step one. Step two, is it, is it within the limited domain? Um, well, for cosine angle, where you're really doing an inverse question eventually, what, what angles must be limited to? Well, whoops, if you go to the uh, notes, it'll say zero to pi. Zero to pi. So, here's the question. If I was to draw a number line and go from zero, let's say, to pi. So here's the, uh, here's the limited domain. It's here between zero and pi. Is four pi over three within that limited domain? No, it's beyond it. It would be somewhere out here, wouldn't it? Four pi over three, that's more than, this is one pi. Four thirds is more than one, right? This is one and a third, isn't it? Four thirds, it's more than one. If you divide it on your calculator, or you just, you won't have a calculator for this part, you just know four divided by three, that's more than one. Three goes into four more than once. So that's outside, so it is outside of the limited domain. So what that means is we're not allowed to just cancel these, right? Because that's what we would like to do. We're just like, these are inverse functions, clearly. Cosine inverse and cosine, they're opposites. Just cancel them out. Easy problem. Four pi over three, done. Well, not, yet. yes, that's true if you're within the limited domain. See, that's the problem. See, well, they're inverses. Why doesn't that always work? Well, they're only inverses within the limited domain. Remember, the inverse is very limited. That's very important that you keep in mind that we talked about the limitations on the cosine inverse. So that's only true within the limited domain. And so we can't do that here. This is outside of the limited domain. So um, it's outside. So we cannot, if you can read my scribbles there, we cannot just cancel them out. Let me write that a little better. We cannot just cancel them out because it's outside of the limited domain. Well, then what do we do? Let's go back. Let's look at the notes. So again, here, let me show you the limited domains. There it is. So this is cosine inverse. See his limited domain from zero to pi. First two quadrants, quadrants one and two, that's all the cosine inverse is defined for. They, they, why'd they do that? It's caused a lot of trouble. Well, they only wanted one answer to cosine inverse questions. They didn't want two. So therefore, they only limited, limited us to half of the unit circle. That way, there's only one answer to a cosine inverse question, but it causes some trouble for these composition questions. So anyway, back to the notes. So there we are, step one. Figure, figure out if it's an angle and answer. Ours is an angle. Figure out if it's within the limited domain. There's the domain 0 to pi for cosine of an angle. It's not. If it is within, nope, that's not us. You could just cancel in that case. Step 4, if it is outside, yeah, that's us, the limited domain, and it's an answer. No, 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 ours is an angle, so we're on step 5 here. If it's outside of the limited domain and it's an angle, yeah, ours is an angle, this is what we got to do. What does it say? Then we cannot just cancel the inverse and the regular functions, as we talked about. But there will still be an answer. It, it will not be D and E. 
So this, there's going to be an answer. Why not? It's not D and E because it's an angle. And no matter how big an angle is, we can always add or subtract 2 pi, a full rotation, until we find where it is on the unit circle. So you can never be outside of the bounds completely with an angle because you just keep going around the, the unit circle, you know? So there's always going to be an answer. Whereas for if the answer is outside, it's D and E. Because answers, there's just so far you can go. But angles, angles just keep going around that unit circle. So how do we do it then? We must work out the problem starting on the inside. So you start in here, and then you take that angle, and you work from there. So start on the inside. Let's go back. So we go, okay. So we're down here to step number up. We're jumping to five. So I'm going to start here. Let, let me bring the question down again would be a good thing. Bring down the original question. Whoops, it's not sine. I'm used to writing sine. Cosine inverse of cosine of 4 pi over 3. Okay, and so now <clears throat> step 5 says start on the inside right here this is the inside and so we just just do that so just bring down this inside just begin there so just let's find the cosine of 4 pi over 3 my threes aren't so good all right let's go to the unit circle find the cosine of 4 pi over 3 it's the x coordinate on the unit circle right so back to our notes here Unit circle, cosine 4 pi over 3. Uh, here it is. Here's 4 pi over 3. Cosine sine, right? Cosine's always first, so it's negative a half. Negative a half. So that's a cosine of 4 pi over 3, negative a half. Back we go. So it's uh, ne whoop, negative a half. I already forgot. Negative a half is our spot. So negative a half. So that's the inside, so let's continue on with the bring down the outside now. So it's cosine inverse, and this whole inside has become negative a half. The inside became negative half. Now we just finish up the problem. Find the cosine inverse of negative a half. Now to do that, remember this is an answer, and we're looking for an angle, aren't we? Right? Because for cosine inverse, you plug in answers, get out angles. It reverses things. So we're going to go to the unit circle, look for the answer, negative half, and bring back the angle, and then we're done. We're just working this problem from the inside out. Let's go look for the answer, negative a half on the unit circle for cosine. So negative a half, well, it's right here. I mean, that's the whole point. We just found it, right? Cosine's negative a half, 4 pi over 3, done. No. I hope you know better than that. What's wrong with that? We can't, we can't do it. You say, well, that's the angle. We're supposed to bring back the angle where cosine is negative a half. There it is. No, nope. remember, let me look here, remind you, right? We can only look in the first two quadrants. We can't look down here at 4 pi over 3. Even though cosine, sine, cosine is negative a half there, that's true. Cosine inverse, right? We're answering cosine inverse right now. It only uses quadrants 1 and 2. There's another place. And it's right there. See? Cosine sine, 2 pi over 3. There's our answer. Do you see the difference? You can only use quadrants 1 and 2. Otherwise, there'd be two answers. How would we know? Is it 2 pi over 3? Or is it 4 pi over 3? They only wanted one answer to the inverse cosine sine tangent. So they limit us to only two quadrants, half the unit circle. That way, we only get one answer. So you got to remember that. You always got to remember the limited domain. Cosine inverse is just the first two quadrants, so cosine is negative a half at 2 pi over 3 also, and that's the one in the zone, first and second quadrant. So that's our angle, 2 pi over 3, where the cosine is negative a half, 2 pi over 3. So we go back to it, so the angle is 2 pi over 3, and we're done with the question. That's our answer. So how did we do this again? Just recapping real quick. From the beginning, we wanted to just cancel because these are inverse trig functions, but we know better now you can only do that when the item on the inside is within the limited domain. So first off, we had to decide, is that an angle or an answer? Well, it's inside of a cosine, so it's an angle. And then is it within the limited domain? Well, cosine angle, limited domain is 0 to pi. That's those 
first two quadrants again, 0 to pi, right? And um, 0 to pi, no, 4 pi over 3 is outside of that. It's beyond 1 pi. It's more than 1 pi. So it's outside, so we could not cancel. So instead, what do we do? We work on the inside. So the inside, cosine 4 pi over 3 from the unit circle is negative a half. So the inside becomes negative a half. Right here, negative a half. And um, then we go cosine inverse of negative half. We go to the unit circle looking for the answer negative half, but we had to remember to only look in the first two quadrants where we found the angle 2 pi over